My name is Mike Ayers. I'm the senior fire suppression technician for Pierce Manufacturing. I'm also the safety officer for the Double Oak Fire Department in Texas. What we have here is a Pierce Puck Pumper with calves rescue unit. It belongs to Malta McConnellsville Fire Department. We're at the big show in Ohio Fire Academy. And what I'm going to do is run you through the operation of the Husky foam system. The Husky foam system is a control unit sitting right here. It automatically, electronically injects your foam into your system. This unit has four, actually five lines that run foam off of it. And we all we have to do to operate the system is turn it on, start flowing water. It will automatically inject 0.5% of Class A foam into the foam streams. This unit will also, if we open one line, it will put that percentage in. If we open the second, third, fourth, and fifth, it will automatically keep that percentage level for all of those lines, whether they're open or closed. One other very big thing about the Pierce Husky foam system is, is we can load our foam into our tank from the ground, and we can also, if we run out of foam at a fire, we can take this unit and draft foam into the system without ever having to leave the pump panel. We are the only manufacturer that incorporates this into their system as standard. Everybody else has to put a second pump. This is all done within the Husky foam system. Also on this unit we have the Hercules calves unit that matches up with the Husky foam system. What this does together is we take the foam, add the air to give you compressed air foam. What's unique about our system is with all of these five lines, I can change, put air into it, or run straight calves. We all know that when we're at a fire, we want to use a wet, sloppy foam when we go interior, but if we have flame impingement on the house next door to it, we want a thick shaving cream type foam on the house next door. So all we have to do is we can make this one wet, this one dry, this one wet, this one dry. We can make any one of these five discharges do a different type of foam concentration with the air or not have air at all. We're one of the only manufacturers that does this. When we designed this system, that was one of the key things that we had to do for firefighting to make it a lot better for the use out in the field. What I'm going to do now is we're going to start the unit up and we're going to flow some calves for you. We have Tom Hive, senior support technician, out there on the line and we're going to get it up and we're going to shoot him some calves and show you how this all operates. What I'm going to do is go ahead and open up the discharge line and energize my air, run my RPMs up to about 80 PSI. What we've done is we've taken off the combination tip of the nozzle and we're using a one inch straight bore tip. What Tom's doing now is spraying over towards the tree. You can see the reach that we're getting. We're still using the wet foam for the interior tack. If we were to dry this out, we could make it like shaving cream that you'd want to use to protect a house next door. Also, Tom can cut back on it and valve it back a little bit and you'll get a wide pattern which will also if you were using the straight tip on interior attack, it would give you somewhat of a fall pattern to help you get through it. One of the other big advantages to running the cans is your hose. As you notice, everybody's pulling around an inch and three quarter line and takes two of you dragging it hard to tight. I can move an inch and three quarter line very easily because of the latest the weight with the mixture. Also, two men can move a two and a half inch line around in a major fire due to the air, the water mixture with the foam.